Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're playing part 26 of Undertale. And we're not at all being creeped out by all the weird stuff that's happening. Nope. Alright, we'll go this way again and see if the fan hypothesis is right. It is. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Alright. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Alright. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about his cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Right, this one's moving. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Why is it moving then? Okay. 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Aw. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Alright. Nope. Not a refrigerator. More scary monster people. Awesome. It's so cold. Let's check him. Algamate seems like it's losing itself. Snowy. It's so cold. It's Hecklin. You said something like, you look horrible. Why are you even alive? That's rude. What? You didn't say that? Snowy. It's so cold. That's a joke. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha, huh, I remember. It's so cold. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Ha ha, thank you. So we're like putting them at peace or something? It's so cold. You laugh. And keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Snowy. It's so cold. This isn't weird at all. Um, it's laugh, but it's not funny. It's snowy. Heckle. You call this a performance? Snowy. None of this seems to help. It's so cold. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Alright. Okay. I bet you it tells me fridge. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. No. Click. The green key fits perfectly into the slot. Okay. Don't worry. Still definitely not creeped out by any of this at all. Especially not the weird moving refrigerator that's empty. Don't worry. It's fine. Alright. I feel like we've got all the keys in this area. Save often, I suppose. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster can absorb the souls of other monsters, just as human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Oh, flowers. Like, flowery. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessels are a failure, but it doesn't seem to be any different from the controlled cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyways. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. This is creepy. You created flowery, didn't you? Am I going to fight myself again? Alright, that's again not creepy at all. Um... Mystify. You did something mysterious. Recognizes it as more to learn from this world. Okay. Oh gosh, this looks creepy. Let's clean him. You wash your hands. Nothing happened. Alright. Don't worry, this weird bear creature is not at all creepy. Let's hum. You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Alright. Let's check him. 
Yep. Perfect. Alright, at least this one's not too bad to avoid. Pray? You kneel and pray for safety. Remember it's consolence? Alright. It's clean. Your hands are clean enough to eat. Alright. Why would you eat my hands, though? Ugh. Mystify. But it was already mystified. Yeah, but I don't know what to do. Other than dodge. Nope, probably not that yet. Let's pray again, but I'll remember it's constant. So do I have to pick on it? Am I bringing back memories to these guys or something? Let's pick on you. You pick on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, courage. Oh, so this is like a bunch of different monsters put together, isn't it? Reaper Bird seems placent. Spare. You won. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you could read. Click. The blue key fits perfectly into the slot. Alright, that should be all the magical slots. This game is weird. It's an empty dog food bowl. Okay. I don't really have dog food to put in it, but okay. I feel like if I put dog food in, something might happen, but I feel like there's always magical little secrets in this game. Let's save you. Let's buy some chips because we're definitely going to need it. Awesome. Seems to be turned off. Should they have all been turned off? It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Sure. Don't worry. I can fight four things at once. Maybe. Hey, stop. Oh, yay. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had, and anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back, but that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth, that I might run away, or do something cowardly. Uh, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I oscillated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those centrations of determination. Their bodies start to melt and lose what physical physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself, I'm sure there will be times where I struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Okay. So where do I go? What's my home? Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. 
in the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower is gone. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Jupy, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Jupy, see you soon. Yep, still not creepy, strange, or, you know, not mystifying. Alright, back in the castle. I'll just walk. We don't need to take another elevator. Just walk. I don't ever know what's going on in this game. I really don't. It's been half wondering if I'm missing secrets, and the other half wondering what the hell I'm doing. But at least we're out of that weird, creepy place of monsters. That really wasn't great at all. Okay, come on. Let's go see the king again, because, I don't know, maybe it's him. Because, I mean, we reloaded the save before we met him, so it makes sense that he was a voice we hadn't heard before. Yeah. I don't like how stone quiet it is in the castle. It's kind of creepy. I'm just walking back, not hearing any music or anything. I don't know if this game plays with you. It really does. Go back through the halls where we saw Sans. We didn't kill anyone still. Not even those weird monster things. We've done a really good job. Go back up here. Down some more hallways. So... Alphys, Dr. Alphys, like, tried to inject determination to the flower, and that's why the flower turned corrupt and evil. Um, I knew Torrell in some other life, or maybe this one, where I helped out with some stuff. Where's the door to, like, the flowers and everything? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Jupy. It's empty. They still have a coffin for me. Still pretty rude. Wasn't there like a door here or something? Like a door right there? Is this the door? That's the door. Alright. Isn't this where we beat the king or something? Alright, back at the end. Hi, King. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. Anything you want to do is important enough. Even something as small as reading a book or taking a walk. Please take your time. I don't know where I'm supposed to go next. Alright, well, the elevator took us here, so obviously I need to just fight the king again. <sighs> I don't want to fight the king again. Oh, back so soon? How are you feeling? Ready? Sure. I see. This is it, then. I don't want to fight you again. I didn't like it the first time. Awesome. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. Who knows? You're filled with determination. Awesome. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Oh. Terrell. What a miserable creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Torrell, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I cannot stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so tor treacherous, and ultimately it would have burdened you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you'd have to take the life of another person. You'd have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. Kiwi, freaking out. It's not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. It's not what I've been trying to prevent... Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Well, this, this is quite interesting. Do not Tori me, Dream Muir. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from humans, then come back and freely peace then freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you'd rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori. You're right. I'm a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? Sigh. No, Asgore. Nah. Asgore. Human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends. Or else I'll... I'll... Hello. I'm Torrell. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore. Is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I'm Torrell. Hello. Uh, hi. Torrell, you've been in your house for a long time because, you know, these people have been around for a while. There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced... To ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, hello. Your Majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? Hey, guys. What's up? That voice. Hello. I think we may know each other. Oh, hey. I recognize your voice, too. I'm Terrell. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait. Then, this must be your brother. Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It's so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Through knock-knock jokes! Wowie, I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus, what does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. So are they twins? Why are they twins? Weird. Are clones? Why are they clones? Yeah, Asgore, Undyne's totally right about that fishing thing. Sometimes you gotta just get to, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right. Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No. He's right. Let's do it. Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. Are they gonna kiss? Look at how awkward they look. Wait, not in front of the human. Uh, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Tee hee hee. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you've made, I think, I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, um, her. I, uh, anyway, if I got you here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? For fuck's sake. Alright, we'll end here. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.